and welcome to D20 Error, where we roll dice before one of our internet goes out. My name is Kate, I'm the DM. My name is Alice, I play Tam the half Bard. My name's Jess, I play Nora the Human Wizard. My name is Jules, and I play Ren the Elven Ranger Rogue. My name is Miller, and I play Augie the Human Paladin. I almost said half-elf. Uh, that's not <laughs> correct. <laughs> Eight as well. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple different spells that you can do if you really want to pursue that. But, um, anyways, um, welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have social media links that you can feel free to follow us on if you'd like. Um, Miller posts a lot of very funny things on our TikTok. Uh, we have an Instagram, we have a Twitter, we have a Discord. We have a Tumblr, we have, that's, I think, it. So um, be sure to go follow us on those. And if you want, you can follow uh, the individual players and stuff on our social medias as well. Um, so be sure to do that. Um, do we have anything else that we want to say or do we want to get started? Yes, sorry. Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, so did any... Uh, one wants to do the summary, or I'm happy to do it. Okay, okay. so last we left off, um, the session before last, we had a nice time skip after uh, Augie, the human paladin slash warlock, was crowned as king of his kingdom. Um, very exciting stuff. Uh, some choices were made, some things were bought, lots of great things all around. Um, and at the end of that last session, we ended with a council meeting, kind of discussing where they were going, what supplies they would need, what people they needed, um, and getting to see the airship for the first time, getting to tour around, uh, look at all the fun stuff that is on there, getting to meet some of the crew, uh, getting to create some of the crew, um, and ended with a very a uh, awkward conversation between Augie and Ren, wherein there were some some hurt feelings and some confusion that led to um, some very very good role play. Um, and we left off. Oh, that was the night before this, and we left off this morning, boarding the airship, getting ready to travel. Um, so how this is going to work, it's about 15 days from where you are currently to um, the capital city in Snovsk. I have a um, table of different things that we can roll, and we're going to be rolling based on a percentile die. If we'd like to every day kind of switch it up, figure it out. Um, and if there's any RP, we will get to see what happens depending on what is rolled. Um, and then if there's any RP moments that you all want to have, Feel free. So, um, does anyone want to roll uh, for the first day to see what what you encounter on this first day? I will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jess. Renowned for good rolls, Jess will take the yes. first. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, if I roll bad, that's you speaking that there's, into it. There's that's no, I'll take there's the no rolling bad. Um, it's a bunch of different numbers, so. No worries. There's yeah. Uh, 57. 57. Okay, can I get you to roll another? Um, oh, no. Percent? Okay. Uh, Sounds okay. great. Sounds <laughs> great. Fourteen was my second one. Fourteen. Okay. Um, so you set off for this nice day of travel. The sky appears to be clear as you ascend. When you get up there, there's a little bit of winds. Um, relatively, relatively strong, actually, winds. But there's a couple of um, sorry. I have, there's a, there's a very needy dog that is in the background, so I will try to work around that. Um, uh, 
uh, some strong winds, but fortunately the strong winds tend seem to be coasting <coughs> up to the north. So while you do get a little bit off track and it's pushing you slightly east, for the most part, you are maintaining track and you actually gain a day of travel. So I uh, gain a day off. So instead, so you traveled, um, like by the end of the night, it's like you're on the second day of travel. It's not the first. Um, so does anyone have anything that they'd like to do on this first day? I think Ren will be like on the deck, like, he wants to like learn how to be like lookout and like navigate from the sky. Okay. So I think he'd be spending some time with like we said there's a calico cat to back the navigator. So I think he'd be getting to know them and okay. learning from them about navigation. Okay. Um yes, the um so you go over uh to where the navigator is and you actually as you approach you see they uh, lift their head up and you actually see that their eyes uh, kind of have a milky white hue to them and you uh, learn that they're actually blind. Um, that doesn't detract from their skills as a navigator, but that is just something to note um, and is pouring over uh, different maps of different kind, very of uh, the different terrain. And um, it's kind of that... <laughs> a magical effect to it as well. I'm so sorry. Come here. Um, a magical effect to it as well, where you see, um, as you're looking, that there are actually clouds above it that appear to be drifting along. So it's got a multi-dimensional map that is also moving along. Cool. How uh, are they interacting with the map? I'm just curious, like, does it have like texture to it that they can? It feel? does. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Cool. It's a it's a three dimensional, big old map and the winds and stuff itself. That's very cool. That's so cool. It's a, a mini little scarlet <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, Nora will be setting up the tiny ship library. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she's just taking taken a selection of books from the castle library and it's transposing them and organizing them and all the and the books that she's chosen are all books that, on travel and navigation and, and how ships work and relevant to their journey um and also like snofsk um and she will also be pretending that ollie doesn't exist <laughs> great 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 Quite ignoring him um, do you have a place where you're putting this? No. Um, I think we decided a place for the did, library. Yeah, I think we just was like, hey, we're going to put a library there. It was where we were, we were thinking about putting a garden, but then we decided it would be a library, I think. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Got it. Awesome. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So she'll just be like fluttering down in that. Um, it is not an issue to uh, pretend that Augie doesn't exist down here because it is very isolated and in your own little corner. It's actually quite quiet with the exception of like the occasional wind kind of whistling past. All right. Anyone else want to do anything for this day? Is is Maroth on board? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I go. There's also There's just... uh, you also have the giraffes on board. Oh shit. Okay. Go Do on. we? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. There's uh in uh I don't know if any of you have the diagram pulled up, but uh in seventeen, so it's like close to the bottom, it's the penultimate floor of the ship. There is a cargo hold and an animal holding place. Okay, so probably on the first or the second, yeah, on the first night, um, Tam will go down to like the cargo hold where the animals are chilling, um, and she, th she's got a spell that she's been working on, um, and when she sees the giraffes, she's just gonna kind of go in between them and just turn into a giraffe because <laughs> she can pull him up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, they're yeah. they're not that high of a challenge rating. You absolutely do that. 
Wow. Uh, are right. you a, are you a green giraffe or just a just um, no giraffe? Yeah, I mean, like, if that green, I'll, I'm gonna blend in with them. So for they're, sure. they're not, but oh, I'm oh shit, are, no, so. I'm green. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's another thing. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, the giraffes are green for sure. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I um, yeah, I'll have maybe like a little twinge of green in there. Maybe, maybe green eyes, green eyes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know what the parameters of polymorph are. Can I have a conversation with them? <laughs> I don't think I can. No. I, I think you speak whatever languages the be. What is the um, I can't. Okay, well, the creature is limited in actions it can perform by the nature of its new form, and it can't speak, but I assume that just means it can't speak common. Yeah, I'm going to look up the intelligence rating of a of a giraffe. I'm going to say that these are just flavored horses for our purposes. <laughs> okay, that's what like... they are. Um, horses. One of the crew members is real upset about something just barking <laughs> <laughs> up on deck. There's a wild yeah. wolf on deck. It's fine. Yeah. Val seems really upset about something. Um, <laughs> Not PPJ, Val. No, no Val. No, Even no. though we have a dog on the ship. <laughs> oh, oh, P P and J is in the kitchens currently, just having the absolute time of his life. Um, okay. Uh, uh, so it has an intelligence of two. So, um, I mean. Eh, it's funny. I'll let you talk to them. All right, good. Um, right, I'll just say there's uh, a little barrel of hay that they're currently kind of feeding off of. Just like munch on the hay with them for like a minute. Probably tastes bad, but I mean it's hay. It's hay. Um, I'll just turn to one on the left and I'll just be like, "Nice to meet you." Oh, hey. Uh, how how you doing? Well, you know, um, you're in a in a stable, mm-hmm. and then we walked for a little bit, and now we're in the stable. And there's hay, so life Pre- is good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like nice and simple. Um, do you have a concept of like what kind of stable you're in, like? Whether you're on the ground or somewhere else. I don't know, big one? Yeah, it is pretty, you know what, there's a lot of space in here. It's a big old stable. Um, how do you feel about, like, the, you know, the people who ride you, you know? The the, the tall, pointy one and the, the small, you know, ginger one. Well... Never really thought about it before. Does, you I know what? You, that's, damn it. <laughs> that's so valid. Um, I'm going to peace out, but this has been real nice. Uh, it, it has been a pleasure. It's You know what? It really has not just turned back into an awful walk. Um, <laughs> you, wait, you just turn back into just human, just yeah, yeah, sure. All right, it's, it's the, you. You notice just a little bit of like a looks at you, kind of blinks, and it just goes back to eat. You're so great. I love you so much. And then I'll <laughs> go back to the deck. Which one was that, Bernard or Kate? I have not fucking Did ask. <laughs> We didn't know. They wouldn't know. Yeah. Let's assume it was <laughs> Kate. All right. Yeah. 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 That's me. Yeah. You talked to the one that had the strange malformation of having uh, orange, more orange tinted hair than the other one. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, does anyone do anything else this first day of travel? Aggie is doing his best. Uh, <laughs> Augie is, is, you know, helping out as much as he can, kind of avoiding everyone, just, just trying to keep to himself and process everything that he's done. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, Val, for this encounter, um, if any of you uh, are curious, is uh, spending most of her time in the kitchen with a uh, chef and is kind of helping prepare all the meals. Uh, it's kind of become a, a sous chef of sorts. Does a lot of the preparations and the, the cutting of vegetables and preparation of the basic ingredients. And she is very, very dedicated to that. And that's what she's focusing on. <laughs> um, For the next several days, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. She, yeah, if any of you go and bother her, she's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot. Um, having a lot of fun with that. Um, I'm actually on my break right now, so I do need to get back. But um, I'll talk to you soon. And goes off. That felt like a Maddie gesture. I don't know why. So it, it was. was. That was very good. <laughs> All right. All that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next day. So technically day uh, two of travel of 14. Because um, you knocked one off. So uh, who wants to roll the next percentile? Can I do it? Sure. Go for it, Miller. 54. 54. Okay, can I get you to roll another uh, percentile? Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. Um, the wind that you experienced seems to pick up um, and begins to Buffett, and you actually watch, uh, you well, not watch, but over the course of the day, um, Ren, as you are uh, spending time with the navigator, uh, you seem to notice that on the map itself, you all are drifting further and further and further towards the coast, and actually, at the end of the day, get over the ocean as you are moving very much west, as it's just strong western winds seem to kind of be buffeting the ship and kind of... It's actually a little unsafe, so for the most part, if you are not um, priority crew, like if you're not uh, absolutely essential, then they ask you to go under the deck for the most part. Um, if the, they're the essential crew being the uh, quartermaster, the captain, and the navigator, as well as I think about five or so deck hands. So, Ren... And the uh, elf twink, yeah? So super, if you, super important if you're for helping being the, on the deck. If you are helping the navigator, then you're allowed to be up there. Yes, I'm important. <laughs> yes. Nora will be in Ren's room, just having, like, brought... She's brought some books on navigation to his room. Oh. And he's there. Oh, so nice. she's... Oh, this is a nicer room, so she's just, like, hanging out. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone have anything that they'd like to do today? Um, I, Augie, I'd imagine Augie and Tam are in their bedroom together. And I just imagine Augie just lying on the bed, looking up, explaining everything that happened and finishing it with, and then he just left. <laughs> Tam's just sitting there like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, um... And how did you feel about that? I, I mean, not great. Uh, it was not a reaction I was expecting. How do I, how do I? Well, okay, all right. We've known Ren for quite a long time. It is kind of in his nature just to peace out. Like, <laughs> I think maybe you should have expected that one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I think you're right. I just I I don't know what to do now. I, I I'm going to give him space. I yeah. I won't approach him. Um Do you want me to talk to him for you? No. I could like uh, it's go I, I I don't think that's a great idea, but um yeah, God, this is going to be a long two weeks. This is going to be a long trip. Well, you know, um, the, the thing is, I don't think he wants to um, 
he might be a bit upset and he might be a bit surprised and working through some things, but like he's still he's still grown a lot compared to like how we were right at the beginning. I feel like at the beginning could have probably given you the cold shoulder for like weeks and weeks, but I think now he cares about you and he he he'll want to make it right and he'll want to give you the opportunity to make it right. So I think I don't think we're gonna have to go the whole two weeks with this. I honestly don't. Okay. Okay. We should. Okay. Yeah. Um. This sort of sounds really nice right now. I think I need to decompress. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> just go to the sauna. <laughs> I will totally join him in the sauna. Um. Like. Yeah. We can have like a spa trip. Bro okay. time. The neon light. Uh, that highlights <laughs> yeah. pitch turns on in the outs on the outer outer hall as you sit in the sauna. During I uh, like in the sauna, I'll just lean over to Augie and be like, "Have you you know the, you know the giraffes?" Yes, I yeah. I I know I know them. If you really want to like switch your brain off, like head empty, no thoughts. I can turn you into a giraffe and you can just like hang with them for a while if you need to like not be with your brain for a while. We have to do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe not tonight. Uh, like Yeah. Yeah. Can we both be giraffes? Um let me just think it's about the spell. It's a concentration spell, so if you get someone else to cast it on you then hypothetically yeah, someone else needs to be able to. I mean, maybe Nora can do it. I'll ask her. Yeah. You do what you think you should do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done. Yeah, I kind of worried about talking to Nora right now. I don't. I. Yeah, she might. Yeah, she's been a bit kind of standoffish. Not standoffish, I just think she's probably taken red inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, but gir- yes, giraffes, turn my brain off, please. I think that would be very nice. for. A f- How long does it last? A fucking hour. Oh, thank God. Thank <laughs> Helm. Yeah. That's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, sk- we'll pencil it in at some point. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, does anyone else want to do anything? <laughs> no? All right. Then let's move on to the next day of travel. <laughs> If someone wants to roll a percentile die. I can do it. Um, if I can find my dice. Uh, 86. Okay. That's good. Um, the winds seem to clear up actually and it's a very nice uh nice day out um in fact whereas yesterday they kind of shoot everyone off um knowing that it is a very uh it it's a ship um it's it's beautiful out it's a nice um temperate temperature uh up here it tends to be a little bit colder as just as you get higher in the atmosphere, it tends to get a little bit colder, but it's still lovely out. Um, if you all would like to, if anyone wants to spend the day out there, you absolutely can. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that sun cream in D&D? I feel like... <laughs> Um, I mean, absolutely. No matter what universe you're in, 
you know, taking care of your skin is very important. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, it comes in every, in every traveler's kit and every adventurer's kit. They always make sure that there's, uh, some sunscreen in there to ensure that people are protecting themselves. Um, it's often sh- sold alongside um, armor as well, kind of protecting your physical body and your skin in all more ways than one. Uh, yes. Ryan's <laughs> just wearing a giant sun hat. Wow, I just hit Oh, me yeah. Up. And the ears are poking up through. Oh, oh my God. A style icon every time. <laughs> Augie uh, has to like force himself just to not even look over there. He's just like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Nor is applying sunscreen onto Ren. <laughs> <laughs> just the tips of his ears that are showing. <laughs> uh, Ren's doing the like toddler, like, no, it's so slimy. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the first time he's gone without like bandages to actually have skin to get burned. <laughs> oh, that's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's really <gasps> Yeah, he's just bare in his arms. Um I think there's like a couple people sunbathing as well alongside you guys. There are some people that are getting to work, um, obviously, but they're people <laughs> such as gunners that aren't necessarily needed right now that are having some nice R&R. Uh, um, okay. Um, Ren, can you roll me a perception check? Sure. Am I in a forest? <laughs> Unfortunately not for this part. Oh. Ooh, hmm. Eleven? My my uh Wait, passive is better. Yeah, I rolled a five. Okay. Okay. Um fortunately this wasn't a terribly difficult DC. But um you know, you're kind of you're laying out um sunbathing. It's getting to be a little bit later in the e- afternoon. And you hear dog barking for some reason. <laughs> it's you know, fine. It's no just weird birds. We just have weird right birds in Snovsk. They're like yeah. giant seagulls that bark. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. She's barking at nothing. So I don't know why she's barking right now. We can just we can just chat in character to each other if you want to like go in and calm down the dog it's it's okay i'm just gonna take her outside yeah sorry it's Rock. okay <clears throat> so everyone's to... based on mating <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i yeah I, I, augie's like um yeah i i wouldn't say augie's sunbathing but he's 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 taken in the sun He's like at the edge of the ship, just taking it all in. No regrets over the town. Do you need, do you burn, do you tan? What color do you know when, if you're green? I don't know. You go darker green. <laughs> darker green. I think probably, um, yeah, I, I think I should probably use some. Do you have extra? Yeah, it's on my hand. Ren would have met rub it in. You want those fantasy melanomas. I don't want the fantasy melanomas at all. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm like getting sunscreen from Nora's hands and sort of putting it on myself, I'll just be like, um, so I'm assuming you know what's going on with Ren and Aki. No, no idea. No. Can I roll a fucking insight <laughs> on that? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to roll deception because she's just being very sarcastic. What's your, what's okay, your, what's right. your passive insight? Yeah, um, not great. <laughs> it's actually, it might not be enough. <laughs> uh, hold on a tick, hold on a tick. My passive insight, I didn't, oh, um, 12. Okay, yeah, she's, she's being okay. sarcastic. All right, I'll just give her a look and I'll be like, Okay, so what's going on with Ren and 
Augie, like, I mean, is Ren okay? Apparently just walked no, away. No, not okay. Uh, yeah, I know. But I, I mean, like, when I say okay, I mean, like, how far through processing this do you think he is? I don't know. You don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That it's not for me to say. Uh, I know. But you know him so well, and I just thought, like, if anyone's got a sort of insight into that, it's probably you. Here's the thing. It, number one, it's Ren, uh, and he doesn't trust easily. Number two, he's, a, he's an elf. They hold gorges for a really long time. They live yeah. a really long time. They have really good memories. <clears throat> All these only got like 70 years left in him, probably. I mean, <laughs> it's not going to get to like old age, die, and then Ren's going to be like, actually, you know what? Now I forgive him. <laughs> Yeah, if I don't throw him overboard first. I don't... Oh, he feels really bad about it. Ah, good. He, he does. He knows it's just... Yeah. He's not He's not feeling great. Aw. <laughs> God, you're, you're brutal. <laughs> he's an idiot. And, yeah, he can sit and feel bad for a couple of weeks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he will. On the other hand, just to play devil's advocate, I mean, it's... I don't think Augie thought that Ren liked him. I think he was confused, and I think he thought, I don't know, like, perhaps if... They'd both made moves a little bit sooner. This wouldn't have happened. But I, I get that. Um, I think the more serious part of it, he just let him climb into bed after, you know. Yeah. It, he, I, I would, I would rather, you know. If that were me, I would be fucking furious, and I could never, uh, he's like a kid, uh, like, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter if they- well, I, I mean, if, if anyone had done that to you, I think you'd kill them. I think you'd actually just kill them dead, so it's probably a good thing that he did that to Ren and not to you. Oh, uh, yeah, well, doesn't make it any better. I know, I know. Um, just keep, you know, you and I are in an advantageous position where we're not, um, I don't know, we can actually talk to each other. The other two are currently not talking, so I think if we do our best to try and mediate when they're ready, that would be good. No. Okay, no, or we could not. <laughs> It's fine. Not, it's not my job to egg things along or make it better. That's Augie's job. And it's only Ren can accept whatever amends he wants to make. That's fair. I, I understand. Right, you need to put more sun cream on because you actually are starting to get like a beetroot. Oh, shit, I just put some on. No, 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 it's not enough. Like, you need to oh, lather that I shit on. The sun up here, it's very dangerous. Yeah, it is. Like, wear a hat. Get get Ren to make you another hat. Ren, do you have another hat? I can make one. <laughs> um... While that conversation is happening, actually, Ren, you're a little bit distracted because um, while you are in the process of uh, 
kind of sitting out in the sun, enjoying the weather. There's like a quick kind of shadow that seems to kind of cross over the deck and then disappear onto the other side. <laughs> Great. What spells do I have? Relatively, relatively small. You know, it, it kind of looks like a bird, like a like a little bird shadow just. Nope, nope, nope. Can I like look for whatever made the shadow? Just sure. have it. Yeah. Is that a check? Uh, yes, that'd be a perception check. Okay. See if this is any better. No, it's worse. Nine. Okay. Um, looking around, you don't see any like birds that like passed over that would make the shadow. It's but, the sun um, hat. I can't see past it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> really difficult. I mean, like it, you look great, but it's kind of like at a super costume. floppy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, it's. It's gone. Um, after a few minutes, though, you do see another kind of shadow just kind of over it, a, a little bit bigger. Okay, he takes his sun hat off. What the fuck? <laughs> he grabs it and puts it on the head. It's got ear holes. Okay, sure. I have ears. This is so small. Um, he's gonna like go to the edge of the boat and like really peer into the clouds to try to, or I guess no clouds, okay. into the blue. <laughs> yes, give me another. Well, at Let's this point, there's still fucking clouds, dice. But... This dice. Okay, nine, nine, no, sixteen. Sixteen. Don't see anything. Shit. <laughs> Okay. Must have. I don't know if it was a, a like your imagination or it was just like a bird that flew off. If I see Ren looking over the side, can I also try and look? Yeah. Um. But before you do that, I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, <laughs> Motherfucker! I don't know which dice to use. They're betraying me. I'm so happy that this was rolled. Same oh mode. god damn it. Cool. Dex. Oh my god, I rolled a natural one. <gasps> okay. Which is a nine. Ah. <laughs> I got 17. Okay. 17. Tam? 13. 13, okay. Augie? 12. Okay. Um, so, oh, here, I'll roll for this. Nine. Okay. Ooh. Um, so... Ren and a couple of the crew, you feel yourself jolt, like thrown to the ground as the ship makes a huge, like, <sighs> um, the rest of you are fine. Um, the DC wasn't terribly high, it was just 10. Um, as you feel something, yeah, hit the side of the hull uh, and begin to kind of swing you off balance for a second. Nope, 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 nope. What is it? He will make his way over to the group because he wasn't near them. Be like, do we know what this is? I have no idea. Okay. Can Nort make a perception check? Yeah, sure. can all he also make a perception check? Oh, yeah, sure. I didn't think I made mine. Just like, <laughs> like a Ooh. pile in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambling to get up. That mean? 15. I will say Eight. my passive is 17. That matters. Yeah. You're freaking out right now. Like, you're looking okay, around. Yeah. It's, yeah. What was that, Tam? 18. 18. Okay. Um, so everyone kind of peers over the boat, uh, the ship, to kind of try and see on the other side. Tam, you've got a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach. And you turn around kind of to face the other way. And you see... The first thing you see is a very, very large-looking beak, orange, that seems to, like, stretch out and seems to be almost, like, just huge attached to a red kind of mask looking thing with uh, <laughs> eyes on either side blue feathers that turn into white down into very large orangish talons huge huge winged creature that you've never seen before but honestly just looking at it strikes terror oh into your heart God. everyone Roll initiative. Y'all yeah. ready to rock? Woo! Let's go. I'm so excited. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Guys? 24. Oh, oh yeah. Um, 
16. Okay. 12. 12. 12. Okay. 11. Okay. And this guy rolls. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, for some reason it says I have 37 hit points. What? That, that that, no, that's not correct. I don't know why it is. Uh, is this UD&D Beyond? Yeah. Uh, when you go into edit, does it say it's manual or fixed HP? Um, where would you say it? Uh, manual. Okay. Um, if you go into uh, your class, uh, when you go to edit your hit points, if you want to click override HP and you want to put... Um, Whatever it was in there. It was 50-something, I think. Okay. I, I believe you. Um, but regard, while you're figuring that out, um, the initiative, Ren, you are up first as you see this, gig as you kind of turn around and you see this gigantic bird creature as it <laughs> and lets out this huge, like, caw. Does it look like okay? You said something about a mask. Is that just the coloring, or That's does just it the look color. like okay? Okay, okay. Um, sorry, it has like a red. I'll send and a it's picture. Very clearly, like a big old bird, just a big. It's old a bird. big old bird. Okay. Right. He's gonna try something he I don't think has ever tried, which is cast animal friendship on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my um, goodness. So. Uh, um. Eebity. I choose a beast me, that I see that within range. Beast? Animal friendship. It is beast, yeah. Is okay. it a beast? Um, the bird beast. You can try it if you'd like. I'll try it. Um, if you want to make a, I'll say like as like a bonus action, if you want to make a, a nature check to see if you can determine if this is a beast or Before if it's Before I cast else. the spell? Yeah. Okay. I just rolled my portent rolls for the day oh. and I got 19 and a 20. Oh, Oh, Ooh, sick. My God. Oh, my God. Uh, you said nature check? Yes. Uh, 16. 16? Okay. This is uh, classified as a monstrosity. Ah, shit. Okay. Never mind. Can I cancel that and do something yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's why I let you. Perfect. Let you okay. Check. Instead, he's going to shoot the bird <laughs> um, <laughs> however many times he's allowed, which is two times. Okay. Okay. Um, and he's gonna use he's Ooh. gonna fire normally on one actually no he's gonna do augmented on both so okay. he's gonna use um lightning damage okay go ahead so and roll rolling to hit on both of those we have an 11 and we have yes. a 24. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage for that. Just the 24? Just the 24. Okay. All right. Damage. Um, and just to let you know, Nora, you are on deck for this, followed by Tam. So, oh, you also have to make a deck saving throw, DC 15. DC 15? For, okay. for the, um, oh, wait, no, this one doesn't have a deck saving throw. Never mind, I'm stupid. No? Looking okay. at the wrong one. No worries. New instrument. Da, 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 da. Okay, You're so. Good. We have 11 points of um, piercing damage, and then okay. for the lightning damage, <laughs> one lightning damage. Okay, 12. Nice. Okay, um, anything else that you would like to do on your turn? Uh, I used my bonus action. Um, in terms of like where it, it is and where I am, mm -hmm. um, can I find cover behind like a some crates? Crates seem like a thing that would be on a ship. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you don't you remind me uh do you get hide as a bonus action when you're what level of rogue do you have that i i, I can hide as a bonus action but i already use my bonus action for yeah the nature checks i'm just looking for cover away from okay. like, attacks right now yeah that's totally doable yep okay uh nora you're up next um Okay, can I cast 
Can I cast Mind Spike on the creature? Yes, you certainly can. Is that a saving throw or is that a... Yeah. Okay. Um, what... 16. What uh, kind? Is it intelligence, wisdom? Wisdom. Okay. Ooh. Um, a six? Nope. All um, right. <clears throat> that is... Oh, that's not a that's not the right dice. <laughs> okay. Um thirteen points of damage. Okay. Um, and I always know its location. Okay, cool. Um, does it have anything else? Like is it disadvantaged on its next attack or anything? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, Ren, you shoot uh, one arrow flying, it goes wide. The other one hits as Nora, you cast Mind Spike and you kind of see it start to <laughs> as it thrashes around. Um, I'm then going to try and hide somewhere. Okay. Um, you are not a rogue, so this would not be a bonus action, but you can just try to get cover under get something. Cover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's there's a series of there's some series of crates. There's uh, some rope up above. There's different sorts of um, just general things. Yeah, you're able to seek cover. Okay. All right, Tam. It is your turn. Augie, you're up next. Okay. Um, can I click my winged boots, please? Yes, is that a bonus action or an action? Today? Uh it doesn't actually say on the item. This is um, the w- yeah, they're just winged boots. It doesn't say on D&D Beyond. It just says you have a flying speed. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. I'm considering. I'm considering just giving it to you as a free action. I'm just yeah okay. Um, so we'll say that they're kind of, for the purposes of this and in the future. Um they're kind of permanently flapping after you use up those four hours of flying, they stop. Okay. Yeah. So sure. yes. Okay. Nice. Cool. So okay. you're, yes, you, you take a step as you begin to run and it just, you just take off. Stop. I'd like to go above the bird, please. And try okay. and get it. Yeah. Just to be very clear, this is a gargantuan monstrosity. So it, it is like about 20 feet. Oh, okay. I think I have enough flying speed to do that. What's your... It's 30 feet is my regular speed, and I think I have flying speed that's equivalent to my normal speed. Okay. Okay, yeah. We don't, we don't have a map. I'll let you do it, yeah. Cool. That's fine. Um, yeah, and then can I do a thunder wave, please? Okay, yes. That is a deck save. Uh, it's a con save. Con save. Oh, so okay. Do it at third level, please. Okay, that is a twenty-seven. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll pass. Um, so it takes half damage. Okay. Um, do 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 do, three d eight. So that is six, five, eight. What is maths? Eleven plus eight, nineteen. Um, Half. Yeah, 19 halved. So that is nine damage. Okay. Cool. Um, and it, because it made it save, it's not pushed away 10 feet, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's not the, oh, sorry. I did one because it's third level. It should be four. My apologies. Oh. So that is um, another four points. So that is 23 halved. So an additional two points. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was your action. Do you have anything for your bonus action? 
Um, and your movement. So. I will inspire Oggy. Okay. How would you like to inspire him? Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, it doesn't saying, have to be a song. If I'll you just, just say, wanna... fuck up this massive bird, please. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Augie, yes, you are now inspired. Um, and just because it's been a while, that's a D8, correct? It is a D8, yeah. Sick. All right. Cool. Okay. Speaking of, Augie, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Um, we're going to fire two elders. Wait, wait, how far away is the bird? I forgot. Um, I... okay. So the boat is, I believe. Okay. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's about 30 feet across and you are, are on one side and it is on the other. So. Okay. Okay. So I need to use my action to get over there. Mm-hmm. No, you would. Well, no, you'd use your movement. Oh yeah. Okay. So you should I'll, have so a walking my, speed of thirty feet. Yeah. 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 So I'll use my movement to get over there. I'll use a bonus action to use put up my animated shield. And very smart. Okay. And instead, we're gonna let's see. We're gonna hit with the flame tongue great sword. Okay, right. um, tell me, I think that, that that requires your bonus action to activate as well. So Yeah, so I'm not, it, it's not going to be um, on fire. On fire. Awesome. Okay, yes, roll to hit. Um, that's a 20. That hits. And another 20. That, those both hit. Um, are All those right. Natural or dirty 20? No, no, unnatural, unnatural, unnatural. Okay. Um, okay, so then first, oh god, first hit is a 2d6, that's nine points of damage Okay. for the first hit, and then, and then 15 points. 15? I think so, because it's, it's 2d, it's 2d6, and I got, um, six and a five, so that's 11, then plus four. Plus four? Okay. Yeah. Sick. Awesome. Okay, yeah, you make two big uh, slashes with your sword, and it kind of rears back. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to do? No, that was your action, your bonus well, action, did. and your movement, yeah. correct? Did okay. everything. Great. So now it is the rock's turn. Ren, you are on deck after this. Um, okay. Well. Okay. Ren, you, Ren and Nora are hiding. Tam is above. Okay, great. Uh, so it is going to kind of, kind of, and digs into the hull a little bit before lifting off slightly and with a beat of its gigantic wings, just uh, is going to use its multi attack on Augie and Tam. So first, it's going to use its tal- its beak attack on Tam. So that is... Oh, oh no. Um, that is a 31 to hit. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm going to just do that. I need more dice. Um, hold up. Okay. Folks, it's never a good sign when your DM says I need more <laughs> dice. I <laughs> it's fine, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be so good. Yeah. Um with my fucking 15 AC. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Okay. You're good. You're good. That is um 25 points of piercing damage. Are you okay? It's fine, it's right, yeah. I okay. Got- Great. And then it's going to use its talons attack on you, Augie. Okay, uh, that is uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Um, and I need you... No, I don't. Never mind. Um, okay, it's fine. Um, that's 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. And you are grappled. So you are restrained. Cool. And you have to use your action 
you can, if you want, use your action to break free. Um, but I believe you can still you can still attack, but it's at disadvantage, Ugh. and you can't move, okay. and you have disadvantage on deck saving throws. Cool. Okay, uh, that is going to be the rocks. To actually, mm, I can be really mean. Um, Don't get rid of that smile. Stop. <laughs> I won't be mean yet. Do it, I won't hey, be mean yet. Do it. Um, no, do no it. it's do just it. going to move 20 feet up. That's it. Um, okay. Am I grappled, though? You are. You are in its talons. Cool. As it is rising. So you can still attack, just you can't move. Okay. Okay. Um, Great, that's its turn. Ren, you are up. Okay. I'm going to bonus action hide. So, like, actually, like, try to hide, not just have cover. Okay, sick. Um, um, roll a stealth check? Yeah, I was just going to say, I think I need to roll for that. Yeah. Uh, 20 total. Okay, you feel uh, pretty confident that you are well hidden from this bird as it is kind of currently fixated on the flying uh, threat and the threat currently in its grasp. Yeah. Uh, okay, then I'm going to shoot it two more times. This time I will do one augmented and one area of effect. <laughs> blah, blah, I love this okay. so much. Um, so I have advantage on attack rolls because I'm hidden, right? I yes. Think. Yes. So okay. yes, that so if you hit that does also constitute sneak attack. What is the range on your bow? Um it's real long. 6 600 feet. Okay. So um R. what's the It's 150 and then 600. 150 and 600. Okay, yeah, yeah you're within 150 for sure. Cool. Okay. So first attack is a blah, 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 21. 21 hits. And second attack is a what I is don't F? think you get advantage on the second one. It's oh, just the first one. Is that true? Oh, that makes sense. Has okay, should I re roll? Because I rolled both at once. Should I re roll uh, that? Yes. Okay. So, second attack <laughs> 11. Again. 11 does not hit. Okay. So, I don't remember what order I said the things in. I you said, said one augmented. augmented an area of effect, but I'll let you choose. I would like for the area of effect one to hit, please. Because <laughs> that's the fun one. Okay. okay. Um, I, I, I kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you choose because I want to know what that one does. I'm curious. Okay. So we have um, 1d8 of damage on impact. So okay. plus five. So that's seven points of just piercing damage on impact. Okay. And then I need you to roll uh, dex save DC 15. And if you that succeed. Is hard. One second. If you succeed, uh, then you that take is half damage. That's a 16. Okay, so you succeed. Um, it's an area of effect, you said? Uh, yeah, I don't... The, oh, it's 30 feet. So can okay, I aim it, like, so... near the bottom of it so it doesn't hit Tam? Yes, you can, but I need... Augie, I need you to make Shoot, a right. deck <laughs> at disadvantage because you are grappled. Oh, whoops! Great. Okay. Damage. You know what? You're, you're mad at him. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, no, works. it works. It works. <laughs> Uh, deck saving throw uh, nine. I don't know, 11. 11. Does not okay, so, so Augie fails. So. <laughs> okay, so he can take uh, it. I'm gonna do lightning damage again. Yeah. Okay, it just seems right. We're in the sky, you know. I love it. Okay, so it's 12 total. So the rock takes six, and Augie takes 12 lightning damage. And then I also roll 1d6 of sneak attack, which is a six. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I don't know how much that was total, but so I want to better an additional <laughs> twelve points of lightning damage, and the rock takes. How um, dare you! The the piercing <laughs> plus a sneak attack, plus seven plus six plus six. Yes. Okay. Which is something with math. Yeah. That. Nineteen. One second. 19. What? Yeah. No. No way. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. Um. <laughs> My uh, my D and D party, they just sent um, <laughs> one of our TikToks of oh, Miller no. in the group chat. 
That's funny. Do they know? <laughs> no. They don't know it's us? Oh my god. Absolutely not. Outstanding. Okay. Awesome. Um, does the area of effect um do anything? Does it have any like carrying over effects or it's just that one time? Uh it's just a butch it's a butt a butt ton of damage, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Nora, you are up. Tam, you are on deck. Okay, Nora's gonna come out of wherever she's kinda hidden. Um and she's gonna cast magic missile at third level. So it's gonna be okay. five miles that just mm -hmm. hit. Um so that's Twenty points of damage. Oh, okay. Five spells just careen into, and I can I can aim where they Wait. go to make sure they don't hit Oggy. Is what? a magic missile? Is that a D four? Yeah. So you rolled, so, and you I rolled five, five D four. Five fours. No, so it's it's a D four plus one. Plus one. Sorry, Great. Five D four, and then so which was like fifteen, and then plus five, which is twenty. No worries. That's still great. I was just like, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I wish. Oh, my God. That was just exciting. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, managed just to kind of get hit. Um, okay. Just hits. Uh, you have a bonus action in movement. Do you want to do anything else? I don't have. Uh, can I? Can I? Is it bonus action to, like, conjure Oscar? Is sure. Okay, so I make sure Oscar's around if I need him um, okay. and I go back into my hiding ways. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Tam, you are up. Augie, you are on deck. Okay, I want to get my rapier out and try and stab it in its wing. Okay. Um, I'll say, that, just... uh, did you have it in your hands before? Uh, yeah, it would have just been on my like belt, like, so okay. on my belt loop. Okay. Um, and I will roll to attack. Oh dear. Oh no. Not very good. Fifteen. Fifteen just hit. Oh, okay. Cool. So I will use also use psychic blades, where I get to expend bardic inspiration and deal three d six psychic damage. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so hold on a tick. Um. Five plus three, eight, ten, uh, sixteen, twenty-one points of damage. Do you need it split into um no psychic or not? No. You're you're all good. Okay. And then can I do a bonus action? No, no, I already have, sorry, it's by inspiration, it's fine. Okay. Oh, well, no, it just expends... Oh, does it count? Does the Psychic Blade I don't know. It says it's a used Bardic Inspiration, but I'm not sure if that's a bonus action. Does it say it expends a Bardic Inspiration You can use? expend one of your Bardic Inspirations. It's a bit, like, vague. It's worded a little bit. Is it... Is it listed under? Okay, wait. I'm happy to use a bonus action. It's all good. Let's say it for right now that yes, it's your yeah. bonus action. And then yeah. I'll look at it a little bit closer and I'll let cool. you know. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, that's me. Okay, awesome. Augie, you are up. You are grappled. You can still make attacks or you can use uh, your action to attempt to get out of this either using um, acrobatics or athletics i will I'll, I'll, I'll stay there for right now um i'm gonna cast sanctuary on tam as a bonus action okay uh okay let's see sanctuary yeah sanctuary and then just gonna attack it a bunch Okay, it's at disadvantage sword. because you were grappled. Oh yeah. Okay. Forgot. Forgot. Um I get Oscar okay. to help me. 
to cancel that out. Did you use your bonus action? I did to, like, get him up. Okay, then next time, I think you, I, maybe look at the Find Familiar spell, but I'm pretty sure you can use your bonus action to command them to do something. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, both of them were bad, too. Absolutely not. Uh, uh doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah. Two again. Uh, is that plus? Is that plus anything? No, but there's no way it's going to. It's it's plus seven. Okay. Maybe nine. Then, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you're kind of you're kind of you're grasped in its talons, yeah. and you're just swing wide. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Now it is the rock's turn. It already has Augie in its talon, so it can't use its multi-attack. So it's just going to use its beak attack on the thing that is closest. So it's going to swoop down, um, seeing Tam there, and is going to attempt to attack you with its beak again. But a disadvantage. No. Yeah, Sanctuary. I casted Sanctuary on Tam. Oh, Sanctuary. That is right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I was thinking because of, okay, um, that's a 19 to hit. That will definitely hit, yeah. Okay. Thanks anyway, okay. It did, it, yeah, it, it was going to be a 25 to hit, so did do something. Disadvantage is very helpful. Is, is it disadvantage oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm or not is it you have to roll a wisdom save? No, correct, yeah, it's a wisdom save. That's totally my bad. Okay, great. Um, what is the DC? Okay, 14. it doesn't matter. Um, it's a 21. All right. Okay. So then it's a 25. To, it, it hits. Okay. I don't like that when he dies. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's really not that bad. Um, I rolled really bad. Um, that's 13 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, and it's going to fly. Um, it doesn't really like that. Um, What am I trying to say? It doesn't like that arrow uh, that it's getting. So it's going to fly another 40 feet up. Uh, Tam, if you would like to make a an opportunity attack as your, yeah. if, with your reaction as it's going further sure. away. Oh, natural 19. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yes, that will hit. Um. And that is a <laughs> well, uh, four points of damage. <laughs> okay, no, that's okay. Cool. Um, with your rapier, it's some yeah, with my rapier. Yeah, you begin to slash it, and you see like a spurt of uh, kind of like bluish kind of blood begin to <laughs> from the back of its neck, um, and it kind of <laughs> as it flies away. Good job. Um, okay, yeah, did not like that at all. Ren, you are up next. Cool. Um, how far away is it at this point? Uh, how much did I say it flew? You uh, said 40 it, feet. 40 so feet? Is, 40 okay, feet so it's now, now 60 feet up. 60 so feet up. Okay. So some of you are, you, you're still within the 150 foot range. Cool. And is Augie still grappled? Yes. So, Okay. Um, I actually don't need to hide if there's an enemy within five feet of the creature to get sneak attack on my turn. Okay. Um, just noting that, so I'm not going to bother to hide again. So right. I'll use my uh, bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. Haha, <laughs> I'm remembering how to do this game. Um, okay. So I'm going to do that. Let me expend that. And then I will just shoot it twice with just the augmented. I, I learned from the first AoE not to do that when someone is grappled. <laughs> All right. So I will go ahead and take both attacks. Um, not with advantage. So the first one is a natural 20. Okay, yeah, that hit. And the second one is uh, 16 plus 8, so 24. 24 also hits, yes. Question about... Um, so is it all the damage die that I double? So on the first one, because you rolled the natural 20, that includes sneak attack, yes. Does it inc I guess it includes the bow versatility schmancy. Any dice that you roll is doubled. Okay. 
Um, cool. Then I will. So like, that if it, now. if you've got like a plus four, you don't add plus eight to it. It's still yeah, like yeah. Plus okay. Plus. All right. Um, so just two, twice the number of rolls, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can also, if you want, um, because math is hard sometimes, if you want to just take whatever you rolled and then double that number, you can. So 13 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, six lightning damage and then sneak attack. Uh, four sneak attack damage on the first hit. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes, this is, yes, this is good. I already added the stuff, and I didn't double the stuff. Oh, you didn't, uh, or you did? I didn't, I only doubled the number of rolls that I was doing, but all the okay. stuff I added was just the stuff. Great. <laughs> These Perfect. are technical terms. Right. The other one, I don't have to double anything. Hit. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Seven. Nice. So, 13 piercing damage. Nice. And then uh, two lightning damage. And I don't think I have Hunter's Mark damage on that as well, do I? Um, I th do I? No. Uh, Does it say it just applies whenever to Whenever I hit it. Attack? Whenever you hit Whenever yeah, I hit so it. Shit, okay. Damage. Nice. Three Hunter's Mark damage. What? Three damage. I thought you said 300 damage, and I was like, <laughs> 300. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I just, um, three, 300 additional, to just put it on. I was like, okay, um, yeah, you hit it with these two arrows, and it kind of shunk, shunk, uh, into either side of its beak, kind of causing it to, like, have a little bit of trouble. It's, it's looking rough. Um, all right, Nora, uh, or, sorry, Ren, did you have anything else you wanted to do that turn? Okay, awesome. Nora, it is your turn. Tam, you are on deck. Uh, you're muted. <laughs> so is the rock, is that the point? The rock? Rock? Like, is it above like, the boat? It's above the boat, yes. It's above the ship, okay. So can I, um, as a bonus action, can I instruct the crew? Like... You can, I'll say you can shout something, something to the captain. To, can I just shout to anyone, like, not attacking? Someone get a, like, a sheet. Someone. Okay, yes, yeah. Um, instruct them to, like, be ready to catch the guy up there. <laughs> For the fun of it, could you roll a persuasion check? Absolutely. <laughs> Um, persuasion. 14? Okay. Uh, you kind of, there's some people that are kind of, like, dumbstruck a little, like, stuff you see, uh, as two Loxodon figures are attempting to make their way towards, uh, their respective cannons. Um, and you kind of shout over to a couple deckhands who are looking a little awestruck, and they're, oh, uh, right, and they run off somewhere to go find a sheet. Okay. And then I cast mine spike. <laughs> okay, nice. So it has to make, uh, oh, actually it doesn't have to make a save because I've already got it. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, actually no, it does need to make a save unless it takes half damage, so sorry. Uh, DC 16 wisdom save. Well, okay, well that dice is gone. Don't eat that, don't eat that. Okay, one second. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Whew. Um. Oh no. Um. That's a seven. Okay. So it takes full damage, which is eighteen points. Eighteen. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Still is holding on to Augie, but it it again begins to kind of thrash Augie. You feel your body being kind of like rocked and like just thrown around from side to side. Because you're still in I this. Get you guys are angry at me, but like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and Nora, do you have anything else that you'd like to do? Just go hide again. Okay. 
Um, okay, Tam, it is now your turn. This what, thing I, has flown yeah. your about. I would say it's very, very big. Um, so it's about 20 feet from you from the bottom where Augie is currently. Can I try and get um, up to Augie and try and ungrapple him? Or like uh, you can, assist? You can uh, help. You can, yeah, you can use the help action if you'd like. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And then just hopefully if he's able to ungrapple himself, then like I will be able to catch him. Very smart. Um, Okay, um, and do you have a bonus action? Uh, yeah, I will, um, who's taking damage? Is Augie. Augie. Hey, how bad is Augie looking? He's Augie. fine. He's fine? A little, a little rough. Up, okay, yeah, but... I'll, I'll lay a healing word. First level healing word on him. So that is uh, three plus five, eight points of healing. Thanks. Welcome. Okay, awesome. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, Augie, it is now your turn. All right, I'm going to try and get out of this thing. Okay, uh, so go ahead and make it either athletics or acrobatics with advantage because Tam is kind of there, oh, kind of nice. trying to. Okay, one. Okay, okay. Um, 22. 22 succeeds. You are able to, you kind of, both of you combined try to just kind of wrench Augie out and Augie, you kind of take to both your hands and uh, your legs and kind of you're just pushing with all your might and you're able to break it out. Uh, Augie, you are now falling. Great. Uh, Am I not kind of catching him? I th- like, he's just beginning to fall. Like, it's kind of like, that's his thing. Okay. But um, we can see, we'll make that check to see if you can catch him on the next thing. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, is, that, yeah. <laughs> um, is that is there anything else that you'd like to do your, your movement is your free falling um, yeah yeah um, so yeah I think I'm good right now <laughs> okay then it is the rock's turn um, I'm gonna make an intelligence check just to see if it can it knows whether to cut its no okay uh, this thing is mad this thing is hungry uh, and does not have any sense of self-preservation. So is going to try to attack this time. Um, this time let's do the beak attack to Augie um, and the talons attack because he's no longer grappling anything to Tam. So that is a uh, 29 to hit Augie. That'll that do hit. it. That will do it. Oh, my God. I just realized I haven't been adding anything to the dice that I roll. I'm supposed to add an additional damage dice. I will cut. That's my bad. So I'll, I'll do that. Additional damage? <laughs> yep. Um, it has a modifier, which I just forgot about. I know. Super exciting, right? Um, that's just that's 22 rock, rock. plus nine is um 31 points of damage of damage are you good are you okay i'm he's looking rough but he's 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 fine right now conscious that's i'm conscious okay tam uh it's going to go for you uh you're kind of there you were helping to get (laughs) augie out yep um and our you're right there within town's reach, so it's going to try and get you. Oh, but I don't know if it will. Uh, it rolled a natural two, so it's a 15 to hit. That, that is my AC, so it will hit. Oh, shoot, I'm so sorry. That's okay. okay. Wisdom saving throw, okay. though. Oh, that is, that's right. That's right. Wisdom save. That's a 21. Wisdom oh, save. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this fucking rock, man. <laughs> 
Let me tell you. Um, okay, that is three, uh, nine, 14 plus nine is um, 23 points of slashing damage. So I go down to zero, but I'm a half orc, so I yeah. go back up to one. That's great. So yeah, you go down for a second and everything goes black and then you kind of wake up back again and you see as you are trapped in this weird cage as you are now grappled inside its talons now. Yeah. Nice. But you have a fly speed, so that's good. I do. (laughs) Okay, Ren, it's now your turn. Uh, Nora, you're on deck. Okay. So looking around, do any sailors look to be approaching with a sheet? Uh, let's see. Um, were you, you were, what, your thing was 24, correct? My thing? Your initiative score was 24. Yes, so it was 24. Uh, not yet, but you are in assumption that I'm putting them, I put them at the base 20 level, so... You okay. you're under the assumption that there will probably be some sort of sheet. Okay, Augie's already falling, so I don't necessarily trust that they're gonna get there in time. And having just seen Tam like plummet and then raise up again, mm-hmm. I'm not confident in her ability to catch anyone. I am a skinny little elf boy, but I'm gonna like hold my action. If it looks like Augie is dropping without anyone to catch him, I'm gonna try and do that thing where you like run and then like this isn't really how it, it would I don't know if it would help in real life but you like tackle them from the side you don't try to like I, catch them you know what I'm saying can you picture it I got it? you I got that. you I'm hypothetically you can okay yeah to try and like tackle into a not falling to his death on the deck sort of results <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I got you um okay um so you're holding your action um, and you've moved there. Okay, great. Um, Nora, it is now your turn. Tam, you are on deck. Do I try and kill this thing with my nat 20 roll? Yes. Or is that going to yes. put Tam in danger? No, I'm good. I can fly. Uh, a creature, when incapacitated, releases grapple. So. And, and Tam can fly. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use my nat 20 to double my damage dice and you okay. uh, use... So that that hits. Yeah, but I don't know whether to use... I was going to use magic missile, but I don't roll to hit on that. No. So can I no. double that? So should I use something different? Should I use mine so I can serve? Do you I'll have use... any other like higher level combat spells that do damage? Um, I will use Mind Spike at, um, at Oh, yeah, third. you can definitely do it at a higher level, yeah. At third level. Okay. So would you make another DC 16 wisdom save? Yes. Do you have a lower portent roll? Like a lower one that you can automatically give it, or? I don't. I have a 20 and a 19. Okay. Um... What? Okay. Um, Save. For some reason, it does not have that high of wisdom, but I tend to roll. I've been rolling really well. It's a 21 again. Uh, no. Wisdom well, save? Yeah. yeah. I so, rolled a natural 17. I might be all right. Eight. Um, 13. 21 points of damage. Okay. Okay. 21 um so i okay. would it's starting would, to look real bad i would have doubled that but because you take half damage it's just that okay still really good use of that natural 20 really good use of that the dog even agrees um do you have a bonus action or anything else that you'd like to do um can i hold a bonus can i get oscar to help tam when she tries to ungrapple herself? Um, I'll say that you can command Oscar to go help. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, what's the owl's fly speed? Um, I think it is... I have it up. 
60 feet. Oh, 60. Okay, cool. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, uh, Tam, you are up. Augie, you are on deck. Um, right, can I try and ungrapple my... Actually, no. No, I'm going to just try and finish it off and do a thunder wave, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I'll do it at... No, I'll do it at third level. Okay, um, so that's a so con save? Con save, yeah. It unfortunately succeeds. That okay, is a, a 24. Wow. Yes, but it's got a really strong. high con save. Cool. Uh, so it's, it's 4d8. So it's 6, 5, oh, uh, 18 plus 6 is 24 halved. Oh, halved? Yeah. Okay. It's it's starting to look really rough. Uh, so you kind of go and kind of make a, and it makes a really loud thunderous boom. And while normally if it were to be pushed away, it would have succeeded in breaking out those talons. Uh, it unfortunately does not. And you yeah. find yourself still encased in talon. Bastard. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything else? You've got your uh, bonus action. I don't think I... Oh, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll heal myself. Okay. Uh, um, wait, is Thunderwave a uh, Thunderwave's a, a third level, yeah. Yeah, can you I... can't cast more than one spell. You oh, can cast okay. a cantrip. Uh, like, you can cast a spell and a cantrip in one turn, but you can't cast two spells. Okay, that's fine. If you have the uh, war caster feet, you can cast it as a reaction, but... Yeah. Do you can cast as bonus actions? If they have the bonus action thing. So, like, um, for Grave Clerics, like, Spare the Dying is a bonus action. So you can cast that and then also cast a spell as your action. But okay. also, that does also mean the reverse. So if you have a cantrip that is an action and then you have a spell that's a bonus action, yeah. that is also. Yeah. Okay, yeah. In which case, um, I don't have anything, and I also don't think I'm close enough to inspire anyone. So that I, that is my turn. Okay. Um, Augie, you are falling. One second. Okay. So, started at zero. Wait a second. Make it 9.8, and you're going by six seconds. <sighs> Okay, um, so you fall like, okay, so you're, um, it's close enough to 60, yeah, okay, so you're going to be falling uh, with uh, velocity starting from zero, about 60 uh, feet per round. Um, How so, far away yeah. am I? What? How far away am I from the ground 60 right now? From, from okay. the thing. So, um. So there's a couple things that you see down here. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to say with your your attack, your action, your bonus action, unless you've got something like you can't you really use it to attack. Here's what you see. You see the ground of the ship rapidly approaching. There is a group of uh, about four deckhands with a very large white sheet that is currently unfurled. Um, but you also see on the side, you see um, Ren, who looks kind of poised and is watching you very carefully, kind of in like a pouncing position. So for your action, I will say, where, where are you falling to? Do you want to bet on Damn four it. strong men or your angry elf twink boyfriend? Oh, <laughs> Make sure. here's the thing. He's dumb, so I'm really scared. <laughs> if you like, oh, if you like, oh, you can okay, make cool. an intelligence <laughs> check to try and determine. If you'd like to make this decision, I'll say if you want to use an intelligence check, you can do that. If you'd like to make this just a decision in character, I'll give that to you. But... It's a combination of, uh, I'll dig, I'll dig some salt page. into the wound. It's a, it's a question of who do you trust more at this time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that. It's you meta. Know it's choose. meta. Friend, <laughs> no one else will know that that's what the question is, but.
okay. Sure, he falls towards Ren because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, Ren, you were holding your action, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you see as Augie begins to is slowly hurtling toward you. Um, I'm going to say you're probably better at acrobatics than oh, yes. athletics, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Um, I'm gonna say make an acrobatics check. Uh huh. Augie, I'm going to say. Also an acrobatics check. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. This will be fine. Mm-hmm. have been rolling hot. great today. Oh. I'm going to use my DM's inspiration that I've been holding on to for several episodes. Okay, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> this is the yeah, ending. Wait, wait. I can give you a 19 if you need it. That would be better. I rolled it. I, mean, I will I rolled give you the 19. Yes. So it's 24. Okay, 24. Thank you, Nora. It would have been <laughs> a that, 18. No. <laughs> I don't Just know how you're you know out of focus. Me? You're blurry. Yeah. Very blurry. Better. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Augie, what did you get on your acrobatics? I got a 12. Okay, okay. Um, you kind of watch as Augie's kind of clumsily falling, kind of grasping at anything to grab onto, but, um, you kind of both make eye contact, the first time that you've done, made eye contact this entire trip. Um, and Ren, you kind of see, he's, he's falling, he looks a little clumsy, it's not his best moment, um, but you manage to go up and kind of tackle him, uh, right as he does that kind of hitting. Uh, I will say, Augie, you take half fall damage due to success from Ren okay. um, which is just for the record it's 1d6 per 10 feet of fall damage so instead of 6 d 10 you're going to take 3 d 10 or 3 d 6 3 d 6 3 d 10 Jesus six. okay 10 feet of movement equals 6 okay six. okay Sorry, I rolled really well. The ground, the ground hits harder with it's a combination of your armor, um, and uh, yeah. kind of trying to at the last minute, seeing that this is happening, kind of rolling to the side to make sure that you don't crush Ren and hurt Ren <laughs> in the process. Uh, you take fifteen yeah. points of bludgeoning damage as you fall. I'm still up. I'm still yeah. up. I'm still up. I'm still up. <laughs> Not looking good, but I'm still up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say that's your turn. <laughs> if you're cool with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is the rock's turn. It currently... Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, it currently has Tam in its grasp. There's nothing around it for it to do beak attack. It can't use its talons. <laughs> it's just gonna peace out. Is it just it's gonna oh, 120 feet yell. up into the air. <laughs> <laughs> 120. Wait, what? <laughs> Tam is gone? <laughs> She's I am just, with one hit point right now. Fucking Gonzo <laughs> with one hit point. I have Hunter's Mark on it. I have Hunter's Mark on it, which will you help a little bit. You don't know exactly where it is. You have two people who know exactly where this thing is. Yeah. As it goes, you hear uh, Captain Flint, <laughs> who is currently at the helm, um, saying, "Follow that bird." Um, <laughs> bird. <laughs> yeah, that's because that's that's all you it can do. Just hear Tab's voice be like. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> the rock hears it if it understood any languages. All right, Ren, it is now your turn. Nora, you're on deck. Okay. Um, how badly hurt is does Augie look? Is he looking real rough? Yeah. Extremely real rough. rough. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And Ren is gonna just grab Augie's sword by the blade and go, shh, and then slap a bloody hand to Augie's face and just give him we'll say 20 of his own hit points. Sick. God damn it. Sick. Well, still just like on top of him. (laughs) Yeah, like (laughs) kind of warm and wet hit your hand and kind of graze down as you see red hit your thing. But you feel a little better. The, 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 The like heartbeat that reached your skull is kind of diminished a little. 
Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything else, Ren? Um, can he use his movement, half his movement to get up, and then half his movement to run to whichever side of the ship the rock was yeah. flying away from? Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Nora, it is now your turn. You are muted. <laughs> God damn it. Are we trying to kill this thing? Is Tam going to be okay if I kill it at this height? Um, no. I, I will tell you, it is looking very rough. Um, yes. It is not, like, debilitating. It doesn't look as though it's a stiff breeze away from dying, but it, it's it's looking very, very rough. Oh, Tam can fly, though. I forgot. Is yes. That... And you're, you're up, Tam. You're not, like... I'm at up. one hit point. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. All right, I'm going to hit it with five magic missiles. Sounds good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Twenty-one points. Okay. It is... Ooh, it is at this point barely hanging on by a thread. Kill it! It's there. It's there. Um, what's the, actually what's the range on magic missile? Oh, 120 feet. Is it out of range? Wow. You actually watch as you send them off with all your might, but it it reaches a point where it just begins to fizzle until it just it, it just can I get Oscar to cast it? Because <laughs> familiars can cast spells. Can familiars cast spells? Yeah. That's a thing. That's a thing. It is. Okay. Okay. I'll say that Oscar manages to cast these magic missiles and gets them to hit. Yes. Um, five missiles come out from this fucking owl. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to use... I'm not going to hide. I'm going to run out onto the deck and try and make a lot of noise to draw the bird back down okay okay um can you make a performance check <laughs> absolutely. yes absolutely i guess <laughs> 15 okay okay you start making a lot of noise all right, Tam, it's now your turn. Um, right. I'll just do another fucking thunder wave. <laughs> this Hell yeah. Con save? Just the first, yeah, just first level. What's the DC? 16. Makes it. Natural 8, so it's 17. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm dickhead. So sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. I was debating um, whether to be like, it's a, it's a 15. I'm so sorry. Uh, eight. So that's half done to four. You feel it, it, it this big boom, does it, and you feel it like drop, like, like descend, like about, like, like 10 feet or so as it gets hit with this it is it it's so close you guys it's this is ridiculous it's but it's just barely hanging on okay um augie it's your turn so it's 120 feet away right i have 100 feet away 180 i can't do anything um yeah, I can't do it. Because it was 60 and then it flew an additional 120. Oh, it flew an additional 120? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, I can't do anything. Um, send good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I will send good vibes to Tam and also heal myself a little okay. bit more. Like just, just like 20 you can make more. Help me and draw it back down. That is true. Wait, what can I do? I didn't hear. Noise with me to draw the board. Yes, I will do that. 
I'll okay, so I'm going to say that that's your action instead, uh, if you'd like to make a performance check. Oh, geez. Um, nine. Nine? Okay, okay. Um, all right, it is the Ross turn. I swear, please stop. Please stop. Okay, uh, I'm going to have it make an insight check um, to determine. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so just for full transparency with the nine and the 15, I, uh, stop, come here, stop. I, um, t I just rolled to see w if it would be able to. Uh, it rolled a six, its modifier is zero. So you actually watch as it kind of rears back and uses its full 120 feet of flight speed to <gasps> fly, <gasps> begins to nosedive down, oh. down actually. actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Good. It's, it's, it's mad. Good. Okay, um, it is now 60 feet away from the hull of this ship. Um, but it is making its descent. Ren, it is now your turn. Kill okay. it. It's looking real rough, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use, uh, uh, two more augmented shots. Um, and it is, one of them does get sne sneak attack, because... The enemy is within range of that bird. Okay. And there's still Hunter's Mark on it. So I will awesome. make my two attack rolls. It's a 19 plus 8, 27. That hit. And that rolled for a thousand years, but that's a 21. Okay, both hit. Cool. All right. Just rolling damage. So we have 11 piercing damage from the first okay. shot plus sneak attack, which is 4 damage plus three lightning damage okay i can don't keep going rolling don't <laughs> bother how do you want to <laughs> um, yes! I will sh um, okay i will i will have the first shot like go through its leg to hopefully like let go of tam and then the next shot just goes straight through its neck and like lightning <laughs> all over the thing okay uh tam you feel yourself being released and then suddenly begin to uh, your wings, your winged boots kind of pick up as you see there is an arrow just like, like, like really close to where your eye is, just like, and you feel yourself. And then you watch as the bird begins to twitch and jolt as this current of electricity pierces its neck through its beak. And you actually see like the skeletal form of this for a second as it kind of jolts with lightning before. <sighs> Crashing on the deck, uh, it, it hits kind of like off to the side for a second and then kind of falls off and plummets down. Dead. Did Good job, you guys! Yes! yes! Big uh, bird. Oh, Big birds are my sworn enemies, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I'm gonna... um, can I just yell to Tam and be like, get down here so I can heal you? <laughs> I will get down there so he can heal me. <laughs> I will. Yeah, she'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'll give him a little punch in the arm. <laughs> One hit point gone. Collapses. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll give her... 20. 20. I got... Yeah. No, wait, no. I'll do... I'll do actually, no, I'll just do 30. Oh, thank you. Tam stops, like, bleeding from the nose and, like, her eyes and <laughs> wherever the fuck else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I and... storm out of my hiding place and I shout at the crew, Fat! Look how fucking good you were! <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, we tried, but he was falling and then he could, we, we oh, got the sheet! Yeah, okay. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> Um, being cognizant of time I know that since we started an hour later for the UK folks um, I think that's a good place to kind of end this session if you yeah. guys are cool with that okay. mm -hmm. down for that Harriet is very excited about it as well apparently so um, <laughs> thank you all for joining us um, we will see you next time um, yes. Okay. Thank you so much. 
Uh, bye. Rock out. Bye. Rock, Rock out, y'all. Out. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Out.